I don't remember the specific year, but in the late 1980s, a family friend named Mark came over to our house and gave me this computer. He gave me an Atari 400. Uh, previously, I owned a Coleco Atom, so the Atari 400 was my second computer. And I was very excited. Uh, it came, you know, he gave me this, I think maybe a controller, um, basic programming language on cartridge. Well, I was really excited to give it a try. You know, I, I found a 3 to one contact magazine, which in the back of it had um, basic programs that you could type in yourself. And they had one for a graphic uh, application. Basically, it was a little video, if you will, a little movie of a rocket taking off, flying through space, and then landing on the moon, a little flag pops up. I was very excited. It took me like four hours to type it in. Atari brings the computer age home. Okay, Ma, what's the capital? Remember Aska? Oh, oh, come on, come on. I'm trying, I'm trying. Learn geography or get your jump shot on target. With Atari home computers, anything's possible. In fact, they just might be the wisest investment you'll ever make. Watch this. Hey, Mom. Hmm. What's the capital of Delaware? Dover. I told you she's smart. Atari home computers. We brought the computer age home. So back in 1979, Atari released two computers, the Atari 400 and Atari 800. The 400 was like a lower end, uh, came with 8 kilobytes of RAM. The Atari 800 was a higher end, um, and I believe it came with 16 kilobytes of RAM. Um, but today we're going to discuss the 400. Now the 400, uh, I believe they marketed it as a, uh, a game machine, something for the kids, which makes sense when you look at the keyboard. Uh, it's a membrane keyboard, not uh, the typical keys you would see on a computer. The reason being uh, less chance of the keys breaking uh, with a kid being careless using the keyboard. The Atari 400 um, was designed by a team that included J Minor. Now, if that name sounds familiar, J Minor uh, was responsible, well, his team, anyway, was responsible for the Commodore Amiga 1000. Fun fact the Atari 400 was supposed to get Microsoft Basic. The problem is, Microsoft Basic needed 12 kilobytes of RAM to operate, and again, this only came with 8. So Atari eventually created their own basic, uh, and it came on a cartridge. And Atari brings the computer age home. Ready? Bonjour. Bonjour. Not quite. Try one more time. Bonjour. Learn a new language, or take your best shot at missile command. With an Atari 400 home computer, there are a world of possibilities. In fact, it could even change your life. The Atari 400 home computer. We brought the computer age home. The Atari 400 came with memo pad. What you can do on memo pad? I don't know. I guess take notes. I have no idea if you can even save them. But maybe back then it came in handy. Maybe you said, um, uh, Remember the vacuum. Okay. And then you don't rake. You go upstairs, maybe you run an errand, come back and oh! Remember the vacuum. Right. What would suck though if you have a power outage and uh Boom, where's your message? Anyway. Introducing another first from Atari. It's not a new game program or a home computer program. It's a new service program. 
Atari service. Only Atari backs up its video games and home computers with a nationwide system of more than 700 factory authorized Atari service centers. Call toll free 800-538-8543 to find the Atari service center nearest you. Atari service. Service that's as good as Atari. The Atari 400 also had a lot of peripherals available. And if I read correctly, the peripherals that were made for the 800 also worked on the 400. So you had the Atari 410 data cassette uh, recorder. Like you could play, uh, run programs, save programs, you know, like from basic. Uh, there was also the Atari 810 disk drive. Uh, I have never seen anyone use that on the Atari 400. Uh, you also had printers available. There was the Atari 820, uh, the Atari 822, which was a thermal printer, and the Atari 825, which was a 80 column dot matrix printer. Uh, and of course, I spoke about this earlier. You could get the Atari 830, which is a acoustic modem, um, the keypad, which was designated CX85, and of course, you know, the, the usual stuff like joysticks. The Atari 400 had some starter kits available, one of which was the programmer kit, uh, which teaches you how to write your own programs. Uh, came with reference manuals, uh, software, uh, so basically you can learn how to code with this kit. There was also the educator, uh, which um, basically came with programs to teach you stuff like state capitals, uh, how to type, uh, programming, if you want to get online or connect uh, with other users, there was the communicator, which came with the 300 baud acoustic modem, along with Telelink, which was the software used. Uh, and the last one was the entertainer, which is nothing more than a collection of Atari video games, like Missile Command and Star Raiders. Discover Atari and travel to new frontiers of knowledge, excitement, and challenge. Discover Atari home computers. Learn with computers truly designed for the home. Sophisticated, yet simple enough for your child to use. Play incredible games like Star Raiders. Master your finances. Feel the excitement only Atari can bring you with the world's most popular home video games like Super Breakout and the colossal hit Pac-Man. Experience coin video games like Tempest that immerse you in the thrill of intergalactic action. Enter the computer age at the speed of light. Discover Atari. Atari! And discover how far you can go.